The New Game Expo was held, and a lot of cool titles were announced. Now, not all of these games were super big budget titles or anything like that, but a lot of really interesting games and titles that I'm excited for. I want to first start off by talking about a game that has yet to be announced for the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, but ultimately probably will be coming there, and that is Azure Striker Gun Vault 3. Now, Azure Striker Gun Vault is a franchise that I think is fantastic, really a throwback to a Mega Man action platformer style of games, and they're a lot of fun. Highly recommend you check them out. Gunvolt 3 looks in line with the other titles, and I think it's going to be a great game in 22. When it does come out, it's going to be coming out for the Nintendo Switch, as that has already been confirmed. Ultimately, I do think it's going to make the transition to every other platform, just because... These games have come out on basically everything. Again, highly recommended if you do like your action platformers and it will be coming 22. And additionally, the company announced that Bloodstained Curse of the Moon series director and Hiroki Miyazawa has joined the game as an action director. So that's pretty cool as well. Okay, now let's talk about some other games because there was a lot of cool stuff announced. Japanese RPG inspired MMO Zenith has added a PlayStation VR version. This is set in a colorful open world. Ramen VR will release Japanese RPG inspired massively multiplayer online game Zenith for the PSVR and that is in addition to the other VR headsets it is coming towards. The game notes, with such a massive world, we also wanted to give you unparalleled freedom of movement. In Zenith, you can climb anything, use your hands to climb up the sides of skyscraper or giant cliff faces, discovering secret areas and searching for hidden treasure. You have limited stamina, which increases as you explore the world, so you'll need to plan your ascent carefully. Combat is going to be abundant in the game, and it notes, while many MMORPGs feel like spreadsheet simulators, oh uh, wow, that, that's a little bit of slight zenith feels tactile and simple to learn instead of learning a million formulas about damage you'll be mastering intuitive mechanics like throwing blocking and dodging parry the cold steel of your enemy's blade a slam your staff like a wizard and even dodge arrows while a slowing at time and it is massively multiplayer and you'll be able to customize your classes to fit your play style the game doesn't have an official release date announced at this point but hopefully it's out sooner rather than later okay next up we also have the arcade style soccer beat-em-up game and guts and goals that drops august 31st for ps5 series ps4 x1 switch and pc now this is an arcade uh, beat-em-up title that has some soccer elements to it as well it notes this isn't your standard game of soccer this is guts and goals where soccer balls can be hockey pucks and you use a bat instead of your feet to score goals choose from over 20 unique heroes and get ready to play the world's game like never before it notes different ways to play each stadium has a unique way to play a game of soccer score a goal with a beach ball on the beach and hit a hockey puck at the skating rink keep on your toes there are no penalty cards and play your way you can play both online offline single player co-op multiplayer and local couch co-op enjoy a hilarious take on soccer however you like this one is again due out august 31st for ps5 xbox series ps4 x1 switch and pc Next up, we have a dungeon RPG in Undernaught's Labyrinth of Yomi that is coming west for PS4, X1, Switch, and PC sometime this fall. The game is set in Tokyo, 1979, when a massive, mysterious structure suddenly rises from the ground. The government sends a team to investigate. You have been selected to join an elite group of underground ex explorers employed by Cassandra Company. Unfortunately, you are not the only one searching these caverns. Terrifying monsters lurk in the shadows. Dangerous criminals hunt for resources. Large numbers of people are missing the test of your survival skills begin now like the look of the game definitely an art style that i can get into i don't know if it's going to be everyone's cup of tea but i like it giving me vibes of something a little bit of a dark game but i'm definitely digging the vibe of the game check out the trailer with the music enabled and everything like that and i think you will have a general idea of the atmosphere the game is going for this game launched quite a while ago in japan back in um 2020, but now it will be coming west thanks to the guys over at Axis Games. Also, Ever Forward launches June 29th for PS5, Xbox Series, PS4, X1, and Nintendo Switch. Now, this came out on Steam back in August of 2020, and this does... Uh, this is more of a casual puzzle title, a girl trapped in a strange world somewhere between reality and imagination help her find her way in an adventure puzzle game. Now, it didn't get a great reception on Steam or Metacritic, 74% positive reviews, and then a 65 on Metacritic, that's not necessarily bad. Game kind of has more of a simplistic look going on for it, but I do appreciate that as well. I think the art direction is on point, and that's definitely something that stands out, even if it's not 
seemingly filled with crazy detail or anything like that. It was released at $14.99, so I think that's a pretty compelling price point. If nothing else, you can add it to your wishlist, and I think at some point, you'll be able to find this game, you know, south of $7.50, and it might be worth a pickup then. And lastly, do want to give a shout to Pocky and Rocky Reshrine, and that launches this fall for PS4 and Switch. This is a multi-directional scrolling shooter, and this will be coming sometime this year. The adventures of Pocky and Rocky begin again in this new game in the original Shrine Maiden shooting series. Pocky and Rocky Reshrine is a multi-directional scrolling shooter with classic 16-bit style graphics, sound, and fun. Follows the adventures of a young Shinto Shrine Maiden named Pocky and her companion Rocky the Raccoon as they take on the Nopino Goblins. Looks to be a quirky little shoot 'em up title, so we'll see how this one turns out when it does drop on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch later this fall. However, what has been announced for PlayStation, Exophobia will be dropping in 2021, a very, very old school, cool presentation FPS. Now, this is something that's a throwback to games like, you know, Doom and old, old first person shooters. Like, if you're into the old Wolfensteins and things like that, this is probably going to be right up your alley. It does note explore an abandoned human spaceship that crashed in an unknown planet as you fight unforgiving hordes of aliens in a retro inspired fast paced shooter. Exciting weapon upgrades allow you to uncover new areas and mix up your combat style. So, got a little bit of a Metroidvania vibe going on for it as well. And then, Blaster Master Zero 3, the cap off to Blaster Master Zero. So, this is noted to be the final in the Blaster Master Zero trilogy will be dropping July 29th. Another throwback game, and a Blaster Master was huge back in the day from what I heard, but a little bit before my time. Blaster Master Zero One was fantastic. I played that on PC. Didn't play the sequel, but yeah, now we got Blaster Master Zero Three coming to the PlayStation 4, Switch, and PC on July 29th, so right around the corner. Gotta check out the second game before this one drops. So that's gonna wrap up this one. Definitely excited for a lot of the games. Specifically, Zenith definitely got my attention as a PlayStation VR title. Gunvolt 3, while that's not confirmed PS4, PS5, when it does come out on the Switch, I'll definitely be playing it there, and then ultimately, if they deliver another quality title, I'll probably check it out on other platforms as well. Uh, also, think uh, the Guts and Goals game looks a little bit quirky, and I might check that out at some point. I know these games from a mainstream standpoint don't seem like grandiose outings, but I guarantee you that some of these games are going to end up being really solid and being sleeper hits in 2021 or whenever they do ultimately come out. So keep your eye on some of them. I'm sure you can find enjoyment out of a few of them given that we've covered quite a variety of games in this one so keep on tap with a couple of them but that's gonna wrap up this one sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.